Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Wanted to make this video about a new game that just launched on June 2nd, which is today, the day I'm recording it. Um, this game popped up on Nintendo's YouTube channel, which I'm subscribed, and I absolutely receive alerts every time Nintendo drops a new video. So I clicked on this link by chance. I don't normally watch trailers unless it's a game that I'm specifically looking forward to, and Nintendo usually releases trailers after they do an E3 or a Nintendo Direct. This trailer stood out to me because of the cartoony nature and the subject matter. So I wanted to share this trailer with everyone and kind of see, you know, if you guys feel the same way I do. So let's watch the trailer together and then I'll tell you my thoughts on it at the end. So that's the trailer. I thought it was super interesting. Um, it kind of gave me a Knives Out, Clue, murder mystery kind of vibe, which is really what stood out to me. It looks like it takes your place on like a ship or a cruise or something like that. So let's pop over into Nintendo's eShop website um, just to get some more information because, like I said, I've never heard of this game. I didn't even know it was coming out. It didn't make it onto the last Nintendo Indie Direct they had a few months ago, so I was completely blindsided by this game. So let's get into it. The game is called Overboard. I'll come back and we'll look at the pictures together. So this is what it says based on the website. Get away with murder. Highly replayable detective game where you're the one who done it. From the creators of 80 Days and Heaven's Vault, which I've actually never played either of those games, and the developer is called Inkle, I-N-K-L-E, and I've actually never heard of them either, so they must be really indie with only a couple of games out. Um, but this is, I think, one of their first times that their games made it to the Switch console. I believe 80 Days was a mobile game, so that's probably why I never played it. Okay, it takes place in July 1935. A murder has been committed among the SS Hook, eight hours out from New York. One problem, you did it. Can you get away with murder? So the gameplay is really blackmailing a spy, falling in love, murdering a rival, cheating at cards, drugging a witness, Lie, befriend, betray, console, sneak, seduce, steal, borrow, prey, eavesdrop, and kill. There are clues, evidence, suspects, accusations, secrets, and lies. You'll need all your cunning, coercion, and charisma to ensure that someone else takes the fall. So this is a narrative story, which I also really enjoy those type of games. I'm more of a variety streamer, and I like to stream games that are casual, or games that are narrative based, so games like Telltale Games, uh, Wolf Among Us, Life is Strange. So it kind of gives me the best of both worlds in terms of a murder mystery and a narrative story. So this is a new generation visual novel, so you can go where you want, when you want, and say what you want. Um, it's a simulated story world, so other characters kind of move and act independently. They remember everything they see in here and everything that I do as a character. Every minute counts. I have eight hours to escape justice because we're eight hours out of New York when the murder takes place. So I have to decide who I can trust, because some characters are friendly and some are out to get me. So who can I befriend, who can I betray? So this is built on the award-winning Ink Narrative Engine, and so the narrative itself twists around every choice you make. So you can play it once for a thrill or multiple times to uncover all the secrets and achieve an ideal ending. So it says one play through lasts about 30 to 45 minutes, but achieving the perfect crime run will take a lot longer. So I don't really know how many playthroughs you would need to get the ideal ending, and I don't know if it tells you what that means. But like I said, the game just came out today. It's one player. It sounds like it has a lot of replayability, and I think that it's really interesting. The art style is really cute. I like the, the main character. She's here in the red shirt, dress, um, with the hat here. So let's go through these screenshots together. 
So it seems like you get to pick between three narrative options when you have interactions with different characters. And it looked like from the original picture, there was maybe five characters that you interact with on the ship. So this must be the captain, or maybe he's one of the crew members who works on the ship. And so it looks like there's about seven or eight rooms that you can explore. So maybe like the captain's office, the upper deck, one of the bedrooms, and you probably get to go there. It seems like it's time-based. It probably doesn't run on a real-time clock the way like Animal Crossing would. It probably runs on an in-game clock, which might be a little bit faster. But as we see, this Lady H tells us she'll be in the upper deck at 10.09, but it's 9.53 on the, on, the, on the wall. So we get to choose if we want to meet her there at the time she says she's going to be there and talk to her, or if we'd rather go somewhere else. But making those decisions may affect gameplay down the road. It also appears that we get to know those things about ourselves, which will help us learn the mystery, because even with the trailer and the description, I have no idea how she becomes a murderer and what, what entails that, what, what happened with that, what does that entail? So we get to decide, like in this situation, it looks like she might have lost one of her earrings. So that might give her away, right? She needs to escape being caught, and it's going to be hard if she's dropping <laughs> evidence everywhere. So another room, the smoking room, seems to be another gentleman who might actually know something. Maybe he's a detective, a cop, or something that just happened to be on the ship. Um, and then this looks like an option from the end. So it took this person four hours and 31 minutes, and looks like we didn't make it. So according to her, it said, there's no liberty for this lady. Socialite Veronica Binsley was dramatically arrested for the murder of her husband as the SS Hook pu pu pulled into the harbor in Brooklyn. Sure, they made pull right there. Mrs. Binsley was a guest of the Sing Sing Correctional Facility and a somewhat less comfortable than a widow of a British aristocrat might be accustomed to. And then, like I said in the picture, that gentleman from a few slides ago turns out to be a retired detective who solves the crime. So he's going to be someone we have to really think about because he knows a lot more than we do for some reason. But that's my take on this game. I hope that this is as exciting as the description seems. I'm actually really interested in this game. Usually I don't buy games that I have not seen <laughs> ahead of time. I didn't even check for reviews or anything like that. But this game just seemed really interesting, really exciting. So I'm going to give this a go, um, and I'll record my screen, and we'll see how it looks.